You know, there's a lot of uh, kind of self-congratulatory backslapping going around these days over the fact that communists everywhere are in hot water and have to admit that they did it wrong. And this gives a lot of satisfaction to uh, people who feel that that means we did it right. We didn't do it right. They did it wrong and now admit they did it wrong. We do it wrong and have yet to even raise the possibility of turning away from what we are doing. The internal contradictions of Marxism were based on a false definition of what people are. People do not respond to central planning, hortatory propaganda, and stereotyping. Neither do people respond uh, to uh, an, eth an ethos of self-denial or a view of human beings that denies the fact that we have certain itches which must be scratched. So, you know, I think that the collapse of Marxism is only the collapse of the outer edge of the societal and civilizing assumptions that we have made. After all, Marxism is nothing more than the millenarian uh, retread of Christian millenarianism. And so is modern science, yet another secular retread of Christian millenarianism. So our culture is in trouble, not trouble, we are at a terminal crisis, a bifurcation that is, it can only go one of two ways, horror beyond your wildest imagination or breakthrough to dignity, decency, community and caring beyond your wildest imagination. Now, where do you look for models? Where do you go? The answer is so obvious. You go to nature. Nature has been playing this game for three billion years on this planet. We have been playing the game, we, the apostles of Christian scientism, for about 2,000 <laughs> years. Nature has an economy, an elegance, a style that if we could but emulate it, we could rise out of the rubble that we are making of the planet. You know, it was the geographer Carl Sauer who said, man found the planet a climaxed primeval forest. He, and notice the gender here, he will leave the planet a weedy lot. A weedy lot. Well, now this is a metaphor where you change climaxed rainforest for weeds, but it's also true. By clearing land, we promote the kind of plant evolution that stresses very rapid seed production and annular cycles of growth. In other words, weeds. And this tendency to find perfection and then to leave rubble in our wake has haunted us for the past three or four thousand years of our history. Now with the ozone shield disappearing, with acid rain falling on the earth that can melt blocks of marble, with the CO2 levels rising, uh, with the levels of strontium and uh, chlorofluorocarbons, and you know the litany. We have now one last chance to fish or cut bait. And the place where nature has provided the models for how to respond to this situation is the climaxed rainforest. Only the climaxed tropical rainforest has the kind of complexity of signal transfer, uh, uh, movement of nutritional materials, movement of electromagnetic radiation that we find in the modern city. It is a cliche of modernity that the city is a jungle. The problem is it isn't jungle enough and I think it's the task of the new shamans to take the metaphor of the jungle, which is a metaphor of tremendous uh, wealth, 
tremendous variety, a tremendous outpouring of form and of energy and of uh, potential fulfillment of various bifurcation patterns of flow to take that and enrich our own lives with it.